So the first thing is what I do is I heat up the mold. Um, that is to ensure that there's no water in there. Otherwise, when you pour it, it pops. carbon I put gas on the flame put carbon into the mold so that the uh, ingot does not actually stick to the poured metal now I'm melting the um, silver which is the highest melting point first Once the metal is melted, then I add the copper. This lowers the overall temperature of the melt or the solution. And um, I want to bring it as low as possible because when you put zinc in and it's too high, the zinc will burn and then your alloy goes out of sync and your melting point of your, of your um, solder won't be correct. I mix it thoroughly. Now just to show, the temperature is much too high, but I touched the zinc onto the copper and you can clearly see it burns it away. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to wait until the um, copper and silver mix goes cooler and cooler. You can still see it's pretty hot. I use a carbon stirring rod that's sticking to the rod because it's a bit cold, the rod I mean. And now it's cool, I'll put some boracic acid on, powder, and um, that stops any oxidization, cleans it up nice and shiny. And now I add the first piece of zinc and now after I've added the first piece of zinc, I stir and stir it again. Notice there was a puff of smoke where it started burning, it was a bit hot, but now I mix the solution up. Um, you'll notice, look there, you can carefully see, you see it's still not quite melted and mixed. Now it is melted and mixed, so now the temperature is much lower, and I can now add the next piece, which again in, in turn lowers the temperature of the solution more and more, the melting temperature that is. And again, I mix it thoroughly with my carbon stirring rod, never overheating it. Though. Just keeping it to the point where it doesn't start burning. And then the final piece of zinc. And again, a good thorough melt, stirring it nicely and then um, just now I'll put in some more boracic acid just for a final antioxidant like that and I'll pour it into my already preheated ingot I make these ingots they make them very easy to get the uh, pour or the cast out and there she is now you'll see it will go that color as it freezes and now it's quite easy to remove this one because you just shift it aside, tap it, and Bob is your uncle. 